Isaac, did you see the mistletoe? Are you going to bring Nigel by for a special holiday treat? Oh, well, I would, but I wouldn't want to be too insensitive to others by flaunting my happiness. What are you talking about? Well, I hesitate to bring this up in present company, but there was the facepalm incident between Pete and Alberta. Oh, right. When Pete tried to kiss Alberta and then she palmed his face like a basketball. Yeah, that was hard to watch. I was told to be proud. In any case, I'm OK. Don't hold back for me. Well, we're not really ones for public displays. OK, but how's it going in private? Well, we're not really big on private displays. So y'all haven't kissed yet at all? That is correct. Isaac, it's been months. I would have slept with him and his bass player by now. Well, we're moving at our own pace. Doesn't sound like you're moving at all. Oh, <laughs> man, when Pete's slamming your sex life, that is not a place you want to be. Agreed. I don't owe any of you an explanation. Mm. Hey, bud. <laughs> Excited about the big day tomorrow? Yes. I'm sure my 280th Christmas will be my best one yet. Yippee. <laughs> um, look, about before, I get being nervous about physical intimacy. I mean, heck, I'm no Burt Reynolds myself. I don't know who that is, Pete. Cannonball Run star married to Lonnie Anderson. That clears everything up. Oh, it's just vexing these nerves. I'm no neophyte. My Beatrice and I locked lips many times. Over a hundred. Yeah, but it's different this time. I mean, Nigel gives you those butterflies in your stomach, right? I mean, I suppose so. I died of dysentery, so it's always sort of gurgling down there. But yes, he does produce a certain flutter that seems distinct from gas. And that is why it's going to be the best kiss you've ever had. 